got me an appointment. Got my eyes did. No more glasses right here. Glass in my eyes. All right, let's get back to work. For real though, this is gonna be a direct continuation from um, last night. That vlog episode we just captured, we're gonna really do the to be continued right now. Pretty much with these vlogs, I just be recording the day as it go along. So it's like, this is just what happened. We're doing some real back-to-back -back vlogging right now. I already felt that the last episode was getting stacked up with the clips. I didn't want it to be too long, so I'll just try to stop it at a logical point. So that's where we ended up. Just did the line work. Felt that was a good place to stop. And now it's a good place to start. What did we do last night? Finalized the artwork composition, did the line work. We hit it with the pencil first. Then I draw it down with a Sharpie, hit it with the eraser. I think it looked pretty clean. I mean, I just tried to get the lines to have an actual flow. Now we're back in here right now. Actually, you might notice that I ain't wearing my glasses right now. I got some contact lenses on. I think I look pretty good. I mean, I also look pretty good. Like they, they, it's pretty good. I actually used to wear contact lenses all the time when I used to skateboard often. That was a long time ago though. The first time I got contacts back in high school, I got home and I started trying to play guitar and I was like tripping. I was like, my guitar really this big? Has it always been this big? I was like, what? You want to see all the process that got up to this point. You could watch the previous episode. I haven't edited it yet, but I hope future Jordan got that handled though. Forgot I needed a green. Alright, we gotta get down. We need to finish up this uh baby skate for my baby child. We're gonna hit it. What we gonna do? We got we gonna get it. I already got ahead of myself. Alright, what we're working on right now is gonna be baby dragon. We got a baby unicorn. We got a baby pony on a baby skateboard. I just mixed some first blues for the dragon. This is supposed to be a sample. This is supposed to be a test. I just want to test it out and see it in the cup. Then I got ahead of myself and I uh, already drew it down. So I got to try and mix some more of that. It's been a long time since I've been a painter man. Basically, this is me getting back into putting into practice. I'm already slipping, but got to mix some more paint and then let's see how I do. Hopefully I do okay. I just mix it using my eyeballs. Hopefully I get a good coat and a good drawdown and it don't, it don't look too sloppy. Right now it's looking kind of sloppy. Some point you just gotta see what happens. Only one way to find out. Next thing we finna do now just hit it with this uh, black black marker. Blue flatted out, the purple flatted out, but you can still kind of see that. You can still kind of see the hand, the hand done elements of it. And uh, the unicorn is really bonking out. There's actually a couple parts I want to hit with the eraser again, but you can take a look. All right, we gotta redraw it down. Final draw down, and then when you hit it with the, then when you hit it with the clear coat, it's got that uniform cover at the end. Then it actually starts looking like a real product. Everything looked very unofficial until, you know, you start wrapping it all up. gotta fix this green up those brush strokes ain't gonna work ain't gonna cut it remix remix we're gonna remix the paint well actually we're gonna we're gonna repaint it down then we're gonna redraw it down we'll top it all off with a clear coat this process is a really good reminder because i got a stack of skateboards i want to get through relearning and practice that's, that's what you gotta do when you revisit the fundamentals you put in that repetition you develop style style comes from repetition
did the green up in here. We redid it. We remixed it. We had a remix and then we had a repaint. It took me a couple more coats than I thought. It's because I was tripping and uh, I had to defeat the opacity. I was adding some water to this for um, consistency purposes. The actual ease of spreading the um, paint around. I'll choose that over um, opacity. When I hit it with the clear coat, I want I don't want it to fade. I don't want it to reactivate and then go into the finish. I want it to stay under the finish. Try to maintain some of that hand done feel, but also need to achieve that quality. Fixed it, had to do a repaint, had to do a redraw, had to do a re-ink. We got the outline back. Decision making, you gotta decide where to start. You also gotta decide where to decide where to stop. You know what I'm saying? I think it looked pretty good. I hope my baby child like it. Now it's time to hit it with the clear. Rusto gloss clear right here. It says seals, protects, and revitalizes. Wow. I just be doing things, be uh, recording my day but this video really turned into a process video. This is what I'd be doing right now. Now we go hit it with the heat, see if we can expedite some of this on um, curing. Still got that good smell, smells good. I mean, I like it. Smells super good, that's for show. That's for show. I used to work at a skateboard shop actually. And I used to um, paint the skateboards, sling them to the skateboard shop, and then use the skateboard shop to push my artwork out there. Just some pirate ways, you know? You got, that's how you gotta, that's how you gotta get your artwork outside. But now I got baby children, so that's who I'm gonna be uh, painting skateboards for now. I don't really do too much skateboard no more, so. I don't really go through skateboards like I used to. For show. If you're still watching the video up to this point, I really hope you did what I'd be doing. And if you do like the video, maybe you can um, maybe you can maybe you can like the video. This is tripping me out. There we go. Every little bit is gonna help me go far. Gotta clean up a little bit. Let me know in the comments. I mean, if you can and if you want to, what else you might want me to talk about from my perspective? I'd be doing a lot of things. I'd just be doing um, just be doing creative things. I'm just a person who tries to stay creative. I just spent most of my time being an artist and a designer. I really could have just been talking about anything. I mean, this one turned out to be a process video. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna edit this. Hopefully I make it interesting. You know, if this didn't turn into a process video, I really could be talking about anything. Anything at all. At the end of the day, I'm just trying to stay creative for real. Yeah, I should be living my regular life right now. I'll just be cutting these edits so, um, you know, for future purposes and to inspire the homies. That's that's what we're doing now. And we paint painting skateboards for my baby child. We put some green wheels on here, some soft 90A cruiser wheels. Hope she likes it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see you next time. Embark live.